Hey everybody, my name is Katamora. Welcome to our very first video for today's latest edition of NHL's franchise, I guess. We're playing NHL 22, boys. That's right. Way earlier than I actually wanted to play it. Uh, I, I got it uh, three days uh, earlier than the uh, original uh, time uh, that it's supposed to come out because I pre-ordered it and stuff like that. I, uh, I prayed extra to have it earlier. Uh, I wanted to play it on my phone free on time and figure out all the uh, the things. I think I have most of the new stuff on hand, so I know what's what. Uh, they did add up some uh, EX or some new X uh, things or whatever, some uh, some new abilities for the players and all. But overall, it's pretty much the same game, boys, as the previous ones. Nothing too crazy has been changed. As you can see, the UI is quite different, though. Feels a little bit like an old school type of UI with my, mixed with a modern one with the right uh, screen showing you a bunch of different plays. A uh, pretty cool game overall. The gameplay, I've tried it. It's decent. Uh, now the problem is the audio is all over my controller. So we're never going to do... We're basically going to try and avoid as much as possible the gameplay aspect of the game. Just because uh, we are all you're gonna hear is that my goddamn controller going off all the time, so uh, we're probably gonna try and evade that as much as possible. Now, obviously, what we want to do is start the franchise mode. I already went ahead and checked that our roster, boys. It seems like everything's fine. Uh, the Raw Rock is in Montreal. Kakanyemi is in Car Carolina. All these things have already been done. Now, as I'm talking. Suzuki in Montreal has just been signed for a signed for an eight-year deal So it's not like I can really do anything about that. That's a bit uh, way too uh, early for that So it is what it is. We'll just hop on it to franchise mode. Uh, you guys already know who I'm gonna go for Obviously, I'm gonna go for the brand new team uh, the Seattle Krakens 32 expansion draft so start at the expansion draft with uh, 32 NHL teams using default rosters uh does that mean the uh krakens are in there what if i do classic does that mean the uh, the krakens are not in there i think they should be there right let let me see let me just do that really quick there we go and let's see really quick are they in there they should be yeah there we go there they are they're there anyways so there we go so uh, the seattle krakens boys brand new team added to the nhl this year I'm really excited. I'm going to play as them, obviously, that I want to see what I can do with this team. Maybe create a, a new franchise team and stuff like that. So they got a lot of budgets and stuff. We're not going to worry about the budget and the salaries at all. Uh, I'm obviously going to put all of that down, boys. Uh, we are obviously, we can do substitute uh, team. Let me just see how far we can go with the substitutes. It's just for the Legends, I guess, Legends team. So we can't really do anything. Our top players are Grubauer, Giordano, and Schwartz. So we can still do some stuff with them. They're still uh, pretty decent players overall. Uh, still, I still don't uh, haven't figured out why Seattle hasn't uh, didn't try to get Price. He was available and it didn't go for him. So very strange, boys. We are uh, counted as an 88 overall team in the Pacific Division. So we're in the West. Uh, we're back to the regular old uh, divisions, boys. So. Let's go ahead and continue right here. Our career, so owner mode off, obviously. Salary cap off. CPU trades on, obviously we want that. Player morale off. Fog of war off. Uh, edit, uh, edit, uh, head coach edit lines off, because I want to be able to edit all the lines myself. Auto owner mode, nope. Uh, accept relocation, doesn't matter. Auto sign, auto staff. Auto staff management. I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to worry about my own uh, staff and everything, I think, boys. So it's pretty much going to be the same. And uh, there we go. So I think we're good to go, boys. Let's start it up. All right, here we are, boys. New to franchise mode. Let's see what's new. So you can now interview, hire, or fire your entire coaching staff in the NHL and AHL. I thought we could already do that. I'm pretty sure we could already do that. Coaches have multiple effects across the mode. And combined with our scouting system, you now have full control to build the best organization in the NHL. Coaches, it's the same thing as last year. Uh, bias, so playmaker, line chemistry, all, uh, all that good stuff, boys. You already know about that, line chemistry. 
how it works and everything accurate yeah we already know about that the scouting uh when to assign a scout it doesn't matter i already know about all that we are going to do the same thing i'm usually doing for these uh games first thing we're going to do is we're going to go for our coaching staff first so let's figure out what our coaching staff looks like we got a pretty good uh decent head coach uh minus a we're going to keep him he's a ford uh central uh, teaching specialty we got some good play coaches overall in the ahl it's kind of bad a little bit our goalie coach is actually pretty bad let me see if we got better options uh right here for the goalie coaches uh do we have any uh better options i mean we could we could try and get this guy. Uh, B of teaching though. So, well, he's better than this one for sure. I think I want to try and get uh, Quick as our goalie coach boy. So let's try and get him really quick. Uh, we are going to do... So uh, the remaining budget is 300, right? 300,000? But the budget doesn't matter because I don't have any budget equipped on. The salary cap is not a thing for me. And plus, it's a gl it's probably the same glitch as last year, so you probably can do the same thing. He wants uh, 0.73, so I'm gonna give him the maximum right here for four years. Give him the maximum as a goalie coach. Let's see if he accepts. So what we're gonna do? We are uh, gonna fire our head coach right here, or not our head coach, but we're gonna fire our goalie coach, and let's hope that this uh, that quick accepts our deal. So that he signs with us uh, as a, a goalie coach. It would be pretty, uh, much better for us. Uh, we have already Liga equipped. Already scouting. They went ahead and already started scouting people. Uh, Liga, C uh, SHL. SHL is not really the best option right here. Is he better uh, another place? Not really. He's, he's kind of garbage as well. Uh, well, he's a B. So, no, I'm going to actually fire him. He's not a good coach for me. Russia A plus good uh, WHL A plus SHL is, do you have it better you do have Liga A plus you do have ice as well let's put him uh, in ice boys so let's put it in Europe go to ice right here and that's where we're gonna sign uh, assign him and he's gonna do his job over there and uh, next up the NHL Central we don't want that we don't care about the NHL as much yeah, he's garbage because he's only NHL, so I don't care about him. Uh, Metro, do you have anybody anywhere else we can put you? We do have WHL, but it doesn't matter. Let's fire this guy. Uh, Atlantic, anybody else? Uh, USA, w, uh, USA West boys, we can put him right there. So let's put him in the USA West. You can see how fast it's going with the with the new uh, gen and stuff like that. I like it already much better. Uh, WHL, you already have somebody equipped and you're pretty much bad at everything. So let's not get you. We do have OHL A+. Good. This one we need to change. He's not good at anything. Let's uh, fire him. Uh, what do we got here? A Q and GHL. We, he's bad at everything as well. Let's get rid of him, boys. I'm getting rid of all my scouts. Okay, so this guy's good at a USA Central. We already have a USA West, so... And we already have a USA Central in this guy as well. Yeah. So we don't have any uses for this guy then. Yeah, we don't have any uses. I'm just going to get rid of him. Uh, we do have... Okay, so this guy is any, any good at anywhere? Nope, not really. I'm looking for A pluses, boys. That's all, the only thing I'm, I care about. Uh, anything uh, particular? Nope, he's pretty much garbage everywhere. Uh, you over here, Atlantic. Gar Actually, he's got WHO. But I already have a WHL, so I don't need him. Extra Liga right here. Do we want him? Uh, we uh, can get him for Dell. So Dell's really good. Let's get him for that. So let's uh, equip him to Dell, boys. There we go. Just like that. So now we have eight scouts. So already, if we look uh, into Nordic, we already have a good one right here. Well, it says he's a B scout, right? But B overall. But he's not really good with any, uh, anything, really. Looking for a really good Norgate Excel. There we go. And we got an SHL and an Alsvenskan right here is available. So this guy, we're definitely going to sign him. So he's signed. He's going to be signed. Uh, this guy is good for Alsvenskan. So we're going to equip him for Alsvenskan. And we need another one for Liga. So we got to look for a good A-plus Liga. There we go. 
that the, that's the guy right there so that's going to be our guy for liga uh now uh we on we need uh q and jhl so that's what we need so let's go look at that uh anybody good a really good one that i need uh there we go we got one already so brenda moore boys good for the q and jhl uh that's gonna put us at uh the need for europe that's right europe i need two more uh, I need somebody for the NLA and the Extra Liga. So let's take a look. Uh, anybody uh, available? There we go. Extra Liga. There's this guy right here. De Roche boys. And uh, who else is going to be for the NLA? Looks like Kovalev boys for the NLA is going to be our guy. Good. And now we need somebody for the uh, USA, right? USA East. Now that's only the only thing we need. There we go. We already have our guy Holmberg. And just like that, so that's going to be uh, put us at seven scouts additional uh, additional scouts, which is going to give us fifteen scouts overall. Uh, I'm going to wait it out to get these scouts signed. Once I get them signed, we're going to go and look if we can get any other like another five st uh, scouts uh, to maybe get an extra one for WHL Russia or whatever, boys. So, but we're going to wait it out until then. For now, we're good. First thing we want to do roster moves boys so we obviously want to go for the roster moves uh let's see what we got what our roster looks like so center position first 84 83 82 81 80 uh you guys know how i work so true you're gonna go back into the minors we're saying is a third liner just like wenberg i feel like maybe then we we could play geeky as a fourth liner maybe uh, let me see really quick in the system. We got Johansson, obviously. And we got Blackwell. Both are kind of depth player that I can play. I don't know who I want the most. Uh, who would be the most interesting? Appleton. He's got 84 of offensive awareness. And if I go down really quick. If I go down in there. Uh, Johansson is 84 as well. And Johansson, I feel like Johansson's good could be better let me do multi-select what we're gonna do boys is to just to upgrade our AHL team we're gonna keep Appleton in the AHL it's gonna upgrade our team a little bit further we're gonna have Johansson as a backup player as a depth player and uh, yeah that's gonna be better, much better I feel like that's gonna be better so left wing we have our two players the top players right here Schwartz young croc Tanev and Donato, uh, these guys, we can bring them back into the minors. Uh, Schwartz, does he have anything? Nope. So, yeah, we only have these two players, two left wings only, two left wingers only. Right winger, uh, we're, we're struggling on the left wing, it looks like. So, yeah, it might be the left wing that's struggling quite a lot. Uh, do I have anybody in the center position that could play right winger? So Geeky can play right wing, so we can play him on the right wing position, which gives us an open spot for a center. Uh, in that case, I'll gladly take Blackwell. He's better than Appleton. Blackwell is actually better than Appleton. He's a center, so he's forced to play center. What can happen here is we got four centers already. We got our right winger right here, so he can play the right wing. Even uh, Yanni Gord uh, can play the, the, the right wing boy. So we we have our two right wingers. We have one, two, uh, three, and four right there. So what we can do is bring up bring up Appleton, I guess. Appleton is going to be our backup player. Uh, that's gonna uh, that's what's going to happen. So, uh, so Bastion is going to go down to the minors. He's not ready to play for us yet. He's a 77 overall. He said it says he's a fourth, a uh, like a. He says he's a fourth liner, but he's definitely not that. He needs to be at least in the 80s in order for me to let him play. Uh, defenseman one, two, three, four, five, and uh, six. Lozon. Oh yeah, Lozon, you're going down. Lozon, you're not playing. We need uh, these two players right there. They're they're gonna be the one playing. Uh, the ones playing. So. Hayden Fleury, of course, uh, elite player, medium elite player, boys. So we got a lot of potential in him. We want to keep a good eye on him and stuff and make sure he grows. Uh, we also got Cholowski. So maybe Susie is going to be the backup uh, or the depth defenseman right here. 
And we also have goalies in the backup. Dakar and Bibo, and we've got some good goalies. Grobar and Rieger. So that's the one part that we're good at. Uh, we're going to be fine at. So let me just do best NHL lines for now. And uh, let's go ahead and edit the lines. I'll edit the lines and I'll see what it looks like. I'll show you guys in a minute. All right, so here's what I'm going to attempt for, our, for right now for the lineups. We're going to do Schwartz and uh, Yanni Gord uh, we're going to do Schwartz, Yannigord, and Iberle together on the first line. It says a minus two overall for the line chemistry. They don't play well together. That's because it's two two-way forwards or a sniper. So obviously they're not going to do well together. But uh, Iberle is pretty good. He's got some good stats. Uh, Yannigord, a pretty decent player. And Schwartz as well, decent player. They should be doing fine. I put all the uh, two overalls together. So basically 80 and 81 overall are equal to each other. It's just a matter of uh, who do I choose to put in the first. Now, I, I choose, obviously, Donato at the third line because Donato still can grow. He's still got some growth on him. He's a medium top six, unlike Tanev, he's an exact top six. So we want to grow Donato as much as possible. So give him ice time, boys. Yarn Croc is another step forward. He's a two-head level uh, overalls uh, above him. So... He's playing on the second line, and Schwartz is forced to play on the first line. Same thing over here. So we had a choice, and I didn't really have a choice. I had a choice between McCann and Wenberg. I decided to put McCann in uh, the first, second line because he can, same thing as same uh, decision, he can grow unlike Wenberg, doesn't grow. Uh, he's done growing, and McCann is not. So we want to grow the young players, boys. We want to make sure our players grow as much as possible. And Appleton still can grow. High top six compared to Geeky, who is a medium top nine. So I had to make a choice and I decided to make Appleton the third liner right here. Defense, we got Giordano, Larson together. Uh, Vin uh, Vince Dunn, uh, Oleksiak, and Cholowiski and Fleury. Uh, playing together on the as the backup. Now Fleury is my medium elite. I gotta play him on a position like an, on a good position. I gotta make sure he plays quite a lot. He's a plus two overall in this chemistry. Chemistry, so he should be doing fine. And goalies, we got Grobauer and everything. Now the one thing I do have to worry about is the special teams. Usually, the league uh, or the NHL or the game itself. It's not very good at uh, getting the special team. So that's another thing I got to deal with. So give me another two seconds. All right, boys. So I went ahead and created the power plays. So that should be good. That's the only thing I'm going to change. The uh, shootout stuff, I'm not going to change at all. I'm not going to modify. Uh, this, is always takes, this always takes a long time to do for the lines and everything. But it's done now. So we got Schwartz, Wenberg, Iberle. With Vince Dunn and Giordano, Jan Krok, Gould, and Don't Score with Cholowski and Fleury uh, for the power plays. Penalty kill, Gould once again and Don't Score. So the power the penalty kill soon seems to have some good chemistry. Now I gotta head over to the AHL though, and the AHL is the problem. Uh, I gotta do all of this myself as well. So the AHL, I actually gotta figure it out. I only have one extra player though, so we should be all right for the AHL. Let me uh, try and figure this out. This shouldn't take long. As it turns out, it didn't take that long to actually do the AHL version because I don't care about the uh, special uh, special teams or whatever. So I don't care about penalty kills or power play. The AHL can deal with that themselves. But for the main lineups, we're going to have Shanghan, True, uh, and uh, Cole Lynn together. Bastion, Henheim, uh, Enman. Uh, Tawinski, McCormick, uh, Schwinsmans, and we we had uh, one problem, boys. We are missing a right winger, and uh, because of that, we're supposed uh, we're uh, we basically are forced to play a defenseman, Baudouin. So he's going to be uh, playing uh, right wing, boys, uh, defenseman that is. So that's crazy. We also have in the defense position, we do have some strong prospect. We do have Connor Carrick. Uh, really good player overall, but we got Kel Kelsori, a top four D-man, boys. Medium top four. Olofsson, uh, still some prospects, and uh, Lozon. But here's the biggest prospect we have is uh, Riker Evans. 19 years of age, 
big defenseman, 60 overall only, but he's a, a low elite. So he's got uh, he's got some potential, boys, to be a good uh, defenseman. And we got some good, decent goalies uh, in the minors. So we overall a good, decent minor team. For the NHL team, the main team itself, it's going to be a bit tough. But let's find out. Let's go to the free agency now. I don't think we're going to do any uh, things. Oh, Kachuk, boys. Look who's available in the free agency. Well, well, well. Brady Kachuk. Now, if we can add a name like that to our team, already we're, we're standing ourselves to be much stronger. Power forward as well. So that exactly is in the terms of types of players I kind of need in my team. So that would be great, a great addition. It would be a fantastic addition to our team right there, boys. Yeah, I kind of want to, kind of want to try and get him. Let's try and get him, boys. So uh, I am, obviously, I'm going to give him uh, the amount of money he wants. So it's either I give him the years he wants. If I give him the years he wants, uh, I can uh, I can boost, uh, boost the money up to uh, 2 million more. Uh, but if I don't give him the money, I have to actually give give him the exact money he wants. If I don't give him the years, I gotta give him the money he wants. So so let's see really quick. I guess uh, we want him for a big amount, a big chunk of amount of time. If I put him to seven years, he's gonna want uh, that deal. And other people are already interested in him, obviously. So we're gonna give him the five years. The five years and we're gonna make sure he uh, he does sign with us we are gonna make sure uh, we're gonna try and get him for six million let's get him for seven seven mil boys I'm, I'm interested I mean he's a medium elite come on now five years seven mil boys uh, okay so it's an offer sheet compensation it's our it's an RFA never mind boys I'm not going for that I'm not going for that. If it's an RFA, I'm not interested. I, I don't want that. Yeah. Only UFAs, please. There we go. Yes. Uh, only uh, interested in UFAs then. Uh, we could try and sign some good players. Good depth players to help out. So only like a player for the right wing position, really. We need some right wingers. Uh, Eric Stahl could be a good one. I'm really looking for someone that's going to be 80 or 81, though. Uh, that's the only thing I'm looking forward. But since he's going to play in the minors, I think we probably want someone in the 78s or 79. And so let, let's take, let's start looking for that. Maybe a power forward like Brian Boyle would be really good. I think, uh, yeah, I think a Brian Boyle would be a good addition to our team. Let's let's go. Uh, let's take him. He's a center though, right? Oh yeah, I gotta make sure that it's the right winger I pick. Oh, there we go. I gotta make sure I, I pick a right winger. So never mind, boys. So I gotta pick right here. So I either I have a choice between O Shang or uh, Joshua O Shang or James Neal. Let's take James Neal. Uh, we're gonna take him uh, for one year deal, and we're gonna try and get him. There we go. So I get him right there for the one year deal, boys. Easy enough. Uh, easy one year deal, and that should do it. Yeah, I think that's gonna be enough. I don't think I need anybody else. I think for the uh, for the most part, my team, I'm happy with what I got. Make sure that I am happy with what I have. Yeah, my team's decent enough. My team is fine enough as it is. I don't need to change anything. So uh, let's go ahead and just start simulating. Unless we, uh, oh, we do want to edit our strategies. That's right. Let's do full attack, high pressure. Let's just do normal tight point collapsing. Uh, we're going to do the large box power play. We're going to do umbrella or shooting, shooting power play. Uh, we're going to go control breakout. Let's do strong side and uh, five back. Uh, singles, we're actually five back. Yeah. Uh, quick breakout, leaves on early. Let's just do close support. There we go. Perfect. For the power play, do we want a, a carry or a dump? Let's try and dump it a little bit often. And offensive line and everything. It seems like that's fine. Let it, uh, let's tell them to shoot at the puck. Uh, shoot the puck though. Definitely want overload. And yeah, I want overload everywhere. And uh, tell them to shoot the puck quite often. There we go. And fourth line shoot the puck as well quite often. 
And same thing for the defensemen. So we're going to make sure to tell them to do the exact same strategies. That's my going to be my strategies, boys. And there we go. Just like that. All right. So that is that. I think we're good. We can start simulating. Uh, we only have one day before the first preseason uh, pre game. There we go. So wait, nothing happened, I, I guess. So we can keep it going for now. Actually, I want to look at the, uh, before we do anything, the captaincy and the jerseys. So my assist, we got three alternates. We got Larson, Giordano, and Eberle. I think it's a good idea to have two or three alternates because we don't know just yet if anybody's quite ready uh, yet. So I, I've got an idea. I think Giordano, sure, to be an, uh, uh, a guy, but Larson, not really. Now, Fleury is a future prospect, but I'm not going to give him to him yet, just yet. Eberle, I'm not quite sure about him. I want to give it to Yanni Gold. He's playing quite a lot. He's going to get some good time for us. And uh, a winger. So I guess I could give him to... Sure, I, I'll give it to Eberle. So we'll see who deserves it the most between these three players, boys. Let's continue to simulate. All right, so I'm happy to join the team. There we go, boys. We got a brand new goalie coach. He's uh he's gonna be a B in a, a B minus or something like that instead of having like a, a D minus. It's a huge upgrade for a goalie coach. Uh, accept your offer. So we got a, a new scout. So uh, Heli Rackle. So uh, De Rocher as well. So we got two new scouts. Let me uh, take a look at these two scouts, boys. Make sure that uh, they're equipped to the same, um, the right place. These are the ones. So we got four. We need one more. So one more additional uh, scout. I did see that um, in the Nordic regions, we kind of would need one. Uh, I'm not sure though. Let's just let's just put an extra one in the QMJ show. Well, actually, you know what? In the OHL. Let's put an extra one in the OHL, boys. Uh, let me make sure that uh, we got uh, good ones. Matthew is already signed. And Stafford is the next one. So there we go. We're going to have uh, two extra scouts for the o o o OHL. Why not, boys? So that's going to seal the deal for us. Let's continue the simming, boys. As you can see, it's uh, the game goes very fast. So we're going to be able to easily uh get ever uh assimilate their games uh or the season as quick as possible we're going to be uh, able to do it boys and that's going to also allow me to really do it a little bit more slowly just do one day at a time really like this like i'm doing right now you see i, I can do it one day at a time and really see the way the go uh, uh, the simulation goes and everything and i i can really like Make sure that my team's doing well. So as you can see in the preseason so far, Schwartz is, seems to be doing quite good. We got some, still some uh, some stuff we need to work on. So uh, our preseason is pretty much over, as you can see. So it's over now. Uh, where were we in terms of preseason? We kind of finished in the middle tier. So nine points is still pretty good. Pretty good, boys. So it says six points out of seven games played for... Uh, Schwartz, it seems like that first line might be working quite well, boys. Even though they're minus two. They got some minuses, but they're producing, boys. So that's the important part. That's what's important. They're producing, so I'm keeping them in there. Uh, unless I've got, like, better players overall. Doesn't seem like it. We're going to do a uh, full-time or real-time simulation for the first game. And uh, afterwards, we're going to see, like, is there any difference, right? What's the difference between... Uh, the real time and the quick time. We're going to see, boys. So we're going to do it right away. So we're simulating. There we go. Uh, first goal by Brian McNabb. We get a goal on our side. J McC McCann, boys, on the second line. Really good. We get a power play. Let's see if my power play is any good. Five on three. Come on now. Five on four. That was a long power play. We didn't score a single goal. We're almost doubling them by uh, in terms of shots, though. So... We are doing good. It's just a matter of scoring. We got opportunities. There we go. Giordano, boys, on the point. Point shot on Leonard. Oleksiak, there we go. Scoring a goal. Marcia so is going to answer back, uh, right back. So the real time seems to be working all right for me so far. Uh, they went back up in terms of shots. Oh, power play goal for Stevenson. So our penalty kill uh, hasn't worked out for us so far. 
we only had I think one goal, uh, one p uh, penalty so far taken by, on our side, and we uh, they scored on us. There's another penalty on our side, but we actually scored right after it. So Al Arsenal's gonna he really save their ass right there. That's really good. Pretty even match over overall. Dadanov is gonna score a goal. I didn't even know he was in Vegas. That's interesting. They're actually uh, really out shooting us right now. They're starting to all play us. Riley Smith at three minutes left. Mike Stone or Mark Stone's gonna score, and that's gonna put it on ice, boys. So we ended up losing six to four our first game. Not a good first show. Not a good first show. But Young Crackers can see two points. Really good, strong first night for him. All right, it is. It was just our first game, so I'm more than willing to let it slide a little bit. Let's see how the other games and the quick time simulation how it goes. Six to three loss. Wow. Right. All right. Third game, boys against Columbus. Three to two loss. Regulation losses, boys. All right. We're not doing too good right here. Advance the day again. Let's see Philadelphia. Eight to three loss. Oh, we're giving up a lot of goals. Not good at all, boys. Let's just advance the day against New Jersey. There's a finally a win, our first win after five matches. Three to two though in overtime. It took overtime to beat uh, the other team. So yeah, this is rough, boys. We are gonna have a tough time. It's five games in. Giordano's got five points. It's a point per game player. It's doing really well, but there's not much else we can do. I mean, it seems like our players are producing. Oh, there we go. There's a strong eight to two win right there against Vancouver. Now, not surprising. Vancouver is a garbage team. Now, we're up against Montreal, which Montreal is a tough team to beat. Uh, let's see if we can beat them. 4-2, 4-0. Good. Our first uh, actual shout-out. Really good. 10 points in 7 games played for Young Rock. Uh, it seems like we're coming back into it right there. There's another regulation loss as soon as I said that, of course. Just jinked myself, boys. We're going to go up to our uh, 10 games, boys. For minus 42 loss, regulation loss, and we're gonna play one last game. It seems like we were coming back at some point, but uh, we fell back down again, so we're not doing good at all. Our first 10 games was not uh, not good. We gotta do better, boys. Uh, there is a way for me to do better, it's just looking at the stats, see what we can do. So let's take a look at our stats. It seems my players are doing good. They're producing, so maybe it's just the strategy is not working out for us. Let's just look at where we are in the Pacific Division in terms of things, right? So, goals for per games, we are doing fine. So we're scoring goals. We're doing okay on that part. On that part, uh, goals against though, we're we're getting scored on way too much. So we gotta up our defensive the uh, this defensive game, boys, on five on five power play uh, percentage. We got a strong power play, so that's really good. Penalty kill, we got the worst penalty kill, so we got to work on that. So our defense and penalty kill is the one thing are the one things that we want to work on as much as possible. Ronk Rock is doing great. 13 points in 10 games played. He's a big time assist man though. So he he passes the puck quite a lot. They don't seem to match up very well in the first line. Minus 11 for them. Uh, they're producing, but they're, it, it seems like something's off about them. So they're not doing well. Uh, but aside from that, it seems like everything's fine. What about Fleury? Our top prospect, minus 8. Not very good. Our goalies. Grubauer is eight, 88. Wow, that's pretty bad, boys. And uh, Grieger is doing all right, I guess, for the one game he played. So yeah, that's pretty bad, boys. So we got to figure something out. I have some strategies I can modify and stuff. So... Uh, we'll take a look into that in the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this first one. See you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.